Forests are the lungs of the earth, so it's important to conserve forests. Without cutting down trees, there are still many benefits that we can get from the forest. It's called non-timber forest products. What are those? Non-timber forest products are divided into two types. Plants such as medical plants, rotten fruits or sap. And animal, for example, honeybee, me, bird's nest, cocoon and others. Come on, let's learn about non-timber forest product commodities. Who doesn't know honey, the sweet liquid produced by the bees? Do you know how it's made? First, bees collect nectar from flowers. The bees store the nectar into the honeycomb. Through a process inside the bee's belly, and because of the heat each time the wings swish, eventually the water content of the nectar evaporates and leaves the honey. Honey is so tasty and good for our health because it contains antioxidants that keeps our body strong. Candle nut Candle nut seed can be processed into oil and made into spices. First, candle nut seeds are collected and soaked for 2 days until swollen. Then boil for 30 minutes to separate the skin from the seeds. The candle nut seeds are then being washed and pounded using a hammer. Candle nut seeds are then cooked to last longer and then put into the package. The seeds are not intact made into oil. Candle nut oil can be used to nourish hair, eyebrows, eyelashes, and treat our skin. Palm sugar Palm sugar is a sweetener made from sap that comes from bunches of palm flowers. First, the palm flowers is cut to release the sap called nira. Nira water is collected and cooked in a large pot until thickened. After thickening the sugar liquid, then settle to cool and harden. The palm sugar are ready! Actually, we can also get environmentally friendly fuel from the forest. It's called wood pellets. Wood pellets are compacted wood powders that is formed in a small uniform size to be practical to use. This wood pellet can be produced from a bush called Kaliandra. Wood pellets can be used as a source of fuel at home, like for cooking, or industrial fuel sources, like in tofu factories. By utilizing and maintaining non-timber forest products, we can also help maintaining ecosystem balance. How so? To be able to produce honey, we can plant flowers for the bees. While busy producing honey, the bees also pollinate plants in the forest and help the forest to regenerate. People who live around the forest also usually form a working group to manage non-timber forest products. These working groups are allowed to establish factories for better management of non-timber forest products. For example, the Wood Pellets Factory. After watching this, we know that there are so many benefits of the forest beside timber. What can you do to support forest conservation in near you?